Hello everyone. Uh, if this is your first time visiting the channel, I want to invite you to open up Blender right now and follow along with us. And if you're not visiting us for the first time, then welcome back. So today we're going to start a project. We're going to build a fun little animation. And the character is Wolfman. He's a classic character. Uh, the lycanthrope, the Wolfman, the werewolf, is a, a classic transformational monster in every mythology from every culture that has ever been studied it has a version of the wolfman um, and it can be good or powerful it is either a dangerous uh, devilish character or it can also be a god every animation starts with a sketch okay so what I did is I made a quick 12 frame sketch and I invite you to do the exact same thing with a pencil on paper Make a handful of squares, small little rectangles, thumbnails. It's called a thumbnail. And give yourself a beginning, a middle, and an end. Today, we're going to build the animatic. So, if you want to follow along, you can use the sketch that I drew. Anyone can, can make their own wolfman or werewolf on top of it. Okay, feel free to, to build it, to, to take him and make him, make him your own. Here, you know what? I'm going to import this right now. The first thing we're going to do is open up our grease pencil. Let me do that by going File, New, 2D Animation. And now we're in the grease pencil workspace. Uh, this, the animatic, it's kind of like a heightened version of a storyboard. Okay, I'm gonna add to, in, uh, in object mode, I'm gonna add two images just to show you what I'm talking about. So you can go Shift A and then go Image and we'll do background image. Go to wherever you have your images stored on your machine and uh, load background images. So here you go. This is, let me just show you what I'm what I'm talking about. These are thumbnails. These are thumbnail sketches and thumbnail sketches are supposed to be incredibly rough, intentionally incredibly rough, okay? They're not supposed to be very detailed at all. It's just to get the idea across of what's happening in the frame. What's happening on screen right now? Can you understand here that a wolf, a wolf man is walking on a street road with a full moon behind him. It's like that comes across right there. Anyone who's ever studied um, improv or the Herald or likes, you know, Seinfeld was always a perfect Herald and uh, Larry David's Curb Your Enthusiasm is a perfect Herald. A Herald is a, is a structure of a performance that builds on beats. There's a first beat, there's a second beat, and there's a third beat. And each beat builds on the beat that came before and then ideally, there's something funny that happens at the very end, and then blackout. Okay, and blackout ends it. So in these 12 frames here, uh, we have three beats. We have the Wolfman walking, and the first beat is a motorcycle gang that, you know, wants to get him. So they brandish their weapons, and Wolfman makes quick work of them right here. Okay, and then there's a second beat. So Wolfman goes back to walking. He's just He's just trying to get from point A to point B but the world just won't let him live, okay? So he defends himself, right? You know, the truth is like a wolf man, all right? You don't have to defend it. Let it loose and, and it'll defend itself. Now, the second beat, we, we want to build on the first beat. Motorcycle gang, how do you build on that? Well, how about it's a fighter pilot? Okay, great. So he's walking and then he hears a plane and he looks up and there's a kamikaze pilot who yells, Kanpai, which is how you say cheers in Japanese. And, uh, and then the kamikaze pilot dive bombs him. And there's a spectacular explosion and a plane crash. And then from the smoke, Wolfman keeps walking because that's not how you kill Wolfman. Okay. And a lot of people think a silver bullet kills Wolfman too, but it would, you know, that you could, a Wolfman could just shoot themselves in the head with a silver bullet and they'd be over. That wouldn't be much of a curse either. Okay. I'm just saying silver bullets don't work. <sighs> the only thing that can undo the curse of the Wolfman, I think, is self reflection. And even then, it's never ending, which means, you know, it's just, it's, I, I don't know that it's a curse that can be cured. I think it is something that has to be incorporated into the self, right? That's, that's the Jungian approach. Anyway, there's a spectacular explosion. And so out of the smoke and ashes and rubble, the wolfman walks again. And now we, we can heighten that. We want to heighten on the plane crash, which now takes us to the third beat. So he's continues power walking and Whereas before, you know, the first time he hears the motorcycle and the second time he hears the plane. Now he hears a kraken, okay? And then there's a, we're going to do a close-up shot. We're going to do a really neat vertigo shot. 
which is just something I've always wanted to do. So it's a perfect time here. And he goes, is that an effing Kragen? And then we cut to the Kragen, who goes rawr, as Kragens are known to do. And then, just like the first two, we, we heighten. So we got a motorcycle gang, first beat. Fighter pilot, kamikaze pilot, second beat. Kragen, third beat. And then we have a, a nice little fight scene where our wolf man jumps up onto the Kragen. We hear that fwing again, like a, you know, like a Hattori Hanzo samurai sword. And uh, wolf man slices the Kragen's head off. And it's sli we're going to have it slide like, like those Looney Tunes chunks of meat. And then we go back to Wolfman walking, and he's just, he is, he is littered with badassery, and, and then he steps on a nail, and that hurts. So he howls in pain, and then he says, stub my toe, and then blackout. You can use what I'm using right now. I made this drawing for you. I made it for me, too, but I made it for us, okay? This, this drawing belongs to the world now. And I, I made the Wolfman intentionally because there are no two same Wolfmans, Wolfmen, werewolves, lichens, lycanthropes, right? You know, if you look at any culture, it's always different. The, the Egyptians had, it was like a beautiful Egyptian man body with a wolf's head. But then in, you know, Stephen King's Silver Bullet, it was that pastor. That pastor was the wolf. And that, that was just a... Spoiler alert, it, the pastor's the bad guy. And then there's um, the Wolfman from Monster Squad. Was You know what? The Wolfman was from Monster Squad was probably my my favorite Wolfman. And Lon Chaney's Wolfman, you know, looked like he was a, a, a crooner. That guy could have been a, he could have been a singer at Vegas if he just shaved his face. Like that quaff up top, that is a, that is a, that is a, a dynamite quaff. That is an award-winning quaff. And, and then you got, um, you know, Ramus Lupin. Professor Lupin from the Harry Potter series, you know, that was like a, a long, you know, kind of, kind of like lengthy, stringy wolf. They can look like anything. So I invite you to make this your own. You can make your own wolf man here and you can use my reference as your reference. That's fine. Okay. So that's, that's what we're going to make. Now this right here, you can call this a storyboard, right? That's, that's, that's fine. Um, what, what animatics have in addition to that is a little more action and movement and and sound like you want to you want to walk through this animation frame by frame and put the sound you know loosely of what's going on so you can kind of pace out each frame and see how long your animation is going to be um so i did that you know if you have a cell phone then odds are you have a voice recorder app or uh, you can download one. If you have access to the internet, you can find a voice recorder app. You don't need a microphone. It doesn't need to sound fancy at all. You just need to be able to hear yourself voice out and pace out each keyframe, okay? Which I've done. So we're gonna add that right now. Now you can't add audio to a dope sheet. Um, as far as I know, maybe you can in the newer versions. You can't just yet. So I'm gonna click, I'm gonna, take my cursor down right here and click and drag up to create um, to create another 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 section of the workspace remember we can we can make this look however however we want to and where you can add this I'm gonna click on this little timeline here um, because it's it's time this is the clock is a timeline we want this to go back to the dope sheet the dope sheet here so we have the dope sheet here we're gonna do our animation in the dope sheet but here, Let's make this a video sequencer, okay? Um, because with video sequencers, you can actually add audio. So I'm just gonna click and drag my timeline this way, and I'm gonna add sound, and then go to wherever you have your sound on your machine and add a sound strip, okay? And just like that, we've added a sound strip. Okay, and let's bring that over, and then let's, um, here, we can, we'll make this a little bit bigger for the time being, just so we can, we can set this up. So now, we want our animation to be as long as the timeline, but I also want to display the waveform so I can see, 
so I can see exactly where each one of my, my cues are, my sound bites. And I can see that this is 1976 frames long, which is great. So if we make this a timeline, we can end this at 1976 frames. There you go. And now our animation is as long as our audio. And so what I want to do, let's call this, let's call this a storyboard. And we're going to save this as an animatic. Okay. We do need to see the dope sheet. Okay, so I'm going to click and drag and pull up to create a dope sheet. And we can put dope sheet right here. Okay, so we have our audio added. And now let's sync it to the storyboard. So our storyboard is right here. And we're going to start with Wolfman. This is, this is frame one. Okay, so now let's hit play. Okay, I'm not sure if you could hear that. Um, the audio is not synced into uh, the microphone. But I essentially say we fade in, we see the wolfman taking a couple steps, we hear a grasshopper chirp, then we hear the motorcycle gang, and then we cut to. So right about here, at about the eight plus second mark, I want to, um, with my storyboard selected, I want to grab and move this along. Okay, now all I have to do is un... Now I have to do it a lot. I lock it in right there. And you can see that Blender automatically gave me a keyframe, okay, just in moving. Now, the thing is, I'm going to go back to the beginning and play it. And you can see that it's it's moving um, along to the position. Okay, I don't want that, obviously. I want it here. And then the instant it's here, I want it automatically there. Okay, Blender is doing its best to figure out how it thinks it should move from one keyframe to the next. And that process is called interpolation, um, which I encourage you to go read up about and learn about. And uh, you can see that it's like a smooth, slow, gradual shift from A to B. Blender does that automatically. And you can change that in the graph editor. Okay, so. Uh, its default is um, the Bezier curve, right? Which is that slow, gradual um, shift movement, which is, which is essentially an animation, right? It's animating the storyboard, slowly kind of moving it from one frame to another. But I don't want that. We want constant frame. Select everything. And then right-click, interpolation mode, constant. Okay, so now if we play we got nothing nothing this is exactly what i want here's my reference image and then when it comes time to change you get boom okay that's what we're looking for because uh, i i don't want a slow and gradual um transition here i'm gonna i'm gonna delete that stroke as well because i just gave that stroke a constant interpolation change as well but for for putting our reference images in the back just so you know we have something on which to animate. I don't want any type of transition. I want it to go from frame to frame to frame. Um, okay, and now that we know how to do that, let's jump back into our timeline. I suppose we could just, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to, I'm going to do this in our timeline. You can do it in the dope sheet. That's, that's, that's fine. Um, and then boom. Okay, so there's our motorcycle gang, and they're they ready their weapons, and then it, we're gonna cut back to Wolfman. Let's uh, click I for insert keyframe. We'll do location, and then we'll grab it and move it here. Okay, uh, I is for insert, and you saw that uh, it gave me a bunch of different keyframe options. You can hit I insert keyframe location okay okay so he fights the motorcycle gang here just gives him one foul swoop um, we're gonna have the sound effect like a Hitori Hanzo samurai sword and then where I'm gonna hit I again insert a location keyframe and 
got right back here. Okay, to where he's walking again. And we're really just going to repeat the first keyframe. We're going to save ourselves some work. So that walk cycle, we'll repeat it here. We'll repeat it three times, actually. So we need it here. Let me zoom out. This is going to all look like the same thing, essentially, more or less. And we're going to save ourselves some work. We're going to work smarter, not harder. And then when we hit play, here's the plane. Looks up. Cut to the... The kamikaze pilot, we're going to hit I to insert a location keyframe and grab our kamikaze keyframe. We're going to rotoscope this. Really, we're just going to steal this right from Top Gun. Um, the MIG scene is, is really kind of a, a typical flight shot of a plane. And then let's hit dive bombs. And then we're going to hit insert keyframe location we're going to bring this over here's the dive bomb there's going to be a spectacular plane crash very exciting stuff and then we're just gonna we'll hang on a second we'll hit i insert a location and the wolfman continues walking because that's not how we it's not how you kill a wolfman But then here's a kraken and then this is going to be this is going to be my oh i location this is going to be my fa i i think this is going to be this is the shot i'm looking forward to animating this is going to be the vertigo shot which is just a very famous shot in uh movies right there it's it's hitchcock made it famous uh working with jimmy stewart um scorsese used it in goodfellas it's just you gotta you gotta animate you need to make a vertigo shot at least once in your life just to say you've done it. So we're going to have some fun with that one. Let me take a little sip of coffee. Ah, oh, that's delicious. Nectar of life. And then let's hit play. Cut to the Kraken. Okay, so let's hit I, insert a location, keyframe, grab. And then we have a Kraken. He's going roar because that's the noise Kragens make. Okay, you guys... Okay, and then now let's insert another location keyframe, hit G to grab, and then we got a nice little fight scene with Wolfman and the Kraken. I'm not sure if this audio is coming through. Okay, so he bests the Kraken, which is lovely. We'll insert location keyframe G to grab and cut back to steps on a nail and then that's what makes him howl at the moon blackout okay so that that's how we sync our storyboard images with our audio to create the animatic and you, you see how it's just it's a little bit more involved than a typical storyboard okay so um, i invite you to make your own animation if you have if you've had an animation that you've wanted to make um now you know how to kind of get it ready and get it in the system to be animated you start with a very loose sketch of a storyboard okay um, and then you put it in and then you add a little audio to kind of time it out, to pace it out. And then you sync those two things together. And once you have that, then we're really ready to start animating. So um, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, I hope you had fun creating this world with us. And I hope you realize that anybody can can be a world builder and everybody can use Blender and Blender is for everybody. And you have what it takes to, to animate and to be an animator. So uh, from all of us here at the station, I want to say thank you for joining us. And uh, until next time, happy blending.